At Heriot Watch University, we are developing new laser processes to improve the effectiveness of cancer surgery. Today, bowel cancer is the second biggest cancer killer in the UK, resulting in around 16,000 deaths per year. We want our research to make a difference to those figures. There are multiple stages to the growth of colorectal tumours. Due to modern screening methods, colorectal cancers are more likely to be detected at an earlier disease stage. Unfortunately, current techniques for surgery can only be used for more progressive stages of cancer and are too imprecise to remove the earliest stages of the disease. They can cause thermal damage to surrounding tissue, which kills healthy cells. They can destroy or perforate critical underlying structures in the bowel. And in the worst case scenario, they risk serious, life-changing complications. Therefore, surgeons are desperate for new surgical tools that are more precise. At Heriot Watch University, we are working with surgeons from the University of Leeds on a new solution that utilises lasers. Until recently, only continuous beam or long pulsed lasers have been used in cancer surgery. These have limited precision and can cause thermal damage. For this reason, we've developed a procedure using ultra-short pulsed lasers. These pulses are so short that there is no time for heat to transfer to the surrounding tissue, so thermal damage is avoided. They can be confined or focused into a tiny spot smaller than the width of a human hair. Creating a very intense pulse, these lasers instantly vaporize the tissue. By rapidly scanning this beam over the tissue, very thin layers can be removed. The laser pulses can be delivered down specially designed and highly flexible optical fibers. With an endoscope, these fibers can be positioned within the body. This provides a step change in precision for minimally invasive laser surgery. This method can now translate into other unmet clinical needs where ultra-high precision is essential. In order to continue our development and make this method commonplace around the world, we need to grow our network of surgeons, engineers and scientists and fully exploit the life-changing potential of this technique.